In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a box hockey. We need a 24 inch by 48 inch piece of plywood, two 8 foot 2 by 4s a 48 inch by 24 inch piece of puck board, 16 3 inch screws, and 32 1 inch screws. I choose which sides of the 2x4s I want facing down, and I use my plywood as a square edge for when I'm marking my lengths. I cut off one of the sides of each of the 2x4s. I need two 48 inch and four 24 inch lengths of 2x4. These are the pieces we need to make the frame for the box hockey. I rough out what my joint is going to look like, and I use my speed square to get the final dimensions of the cutout. You can use a miter saw, or you can use a table saw. Using a table saw is more precise, but I don't know if it's that much faster than using a miter saw. At each joint, I used a 3 inch screw to hold it all together. The board is divided into three sections, and each section is 14 inches wide. I mark the sideboards for my cutouts, and I'll cut them on the table saw. Seems to fit pretty good. The goal cutouts are in the center of the end boards. I use my speed square to get perpendicular lines. This line will help me set my blade height. As you can see, it's always best to measure twice and cut once. Having a dado blade from a table saw would have helped a lot. Well, that fits quite nicely. The puck slides around pretty good, hey? I decided to cut a chamfer on the goal posts. You can kind of see it close up here. I use a screw to help me measure where the puck holes go. Back to removing the wood, one cut at a time. I find the center of where my screws go through the bottom into the 2x4s. I use my speed square to help me transfer lines to the bottom and my ruler to get the spacing between the screws. I use the puck to help me with the layout and I double checked and triple checked my measurements before I drilled any holes. I countersink all the holes and use one inch screws for the bottom through into the 2x4 and three inch screws that go into both of the 2x4s. I use three inch screws to secure the sideboards. I use my palm sand just to make it nice and smooth. And I can't forget the underside. I took my hand planer to round off the edges and I did this to all four sides of it. Then I continued with sanding it to get it prepped for the poly. Just gotta wipe it off. I finished off the box hockey with the coat of polyurethane satin finish and I think it looks really good. It's super easy to put on. I just used a uh, foam brush and I went around, um, just tried to cover as best as I could and I did, I believe it was two coats in total. There are several ways of playing box hockey. Here we're playing as you would snooker, where each player takes a turn trying to get the puck through one of the holes. If you get it through the hole, you get to go again. You can send the puck between zones, and as long as you get the puck through the hole, you get to take another shot. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Yeah.